This is your final challenge in the Nova section. Follow along with my time lapse, and you will end up with a simple but surprisingly functional face rig. The goal is to show you that face rigging doesn't need to be difficult, and it can be accomplished just with your Nova's skill set. A quick message before we start this course has been a beast to create, and I'm happy to give it away for free. But if you feel like supporting me, you can go to academy.cgdive.com courses and you'll find Rigging Isn't Scary here. It's the exact same course you're watching on YouTube, but here you can make an optional donation, and then you'll be able to watch the videos right here on the site, ad-free. But more importantly, you will become part of the CG Dive Inner Circle, which means that you can help determine the future advanced content we are going to cover. There are other advanced courses here, and you can also go for a subscription, which gives you access to all courses while you stay subscribed. Again, this is entirely optional, but I'd appreciate your support very much. You can also leave a super thanks on YouTube, but if you cannot do any of that, then just liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing the course with someone who would enjoy it would be more than enough. Thank you. Now let's rig the face. Add a new bone name it jaw and align it with the jaw of the character. Consider the anatomy of the skull. Duplicate the jaw bone to create an eye bone. Name it i.l. Go to your eyes object, select the middle loop of the left eyeball, shift s cursor to select it. Go back to your rig, edit mode, select the eye bone, shift s selection to cursor and scale the bone to match the size of the eyeball. Duplicate the eye bone and orient it towards the upper lid. Duplicate again and orient towards the lower eyelid. Name the new bones eyelid B.L and eyelid U.L. Create a new bone at the inner edge of the eyebrow. Name it brow1.L. Duplicate it and position it in the middle of the brow. Then make one more copy at the outer edge of the brow. Name these new bones brow2.l and brow3.l. Make one slightly bigger copy and name it browmaster.l. Make the brow master non-deforming. Parent the small brow bones to the brow master. Select the brow master, all eye bones and the jaw bone and parent them to the head bone. Select the brow and eye bones and symmetrize them. Go to object mode, select all of your meshes, shift select the rig, press Ctrl P and choose with empty groups. Empty groups does almost the same as automatic weights, except that it only adds empty groups for the new bones we just created. It will keep the custom weight paint we did on the body unchanged. Select the face and in edit mode, select the vertices of the lower lip and the jaw area. Do not select any vertices on the upper lip. Now select the rig, shift select the face and go to weight paint. Activate the jaw group. It will be black because we only added empty groups, so it does not have any weights yet. Enable the vertex selection toggle. Now you can paint only on the selected vertices. So increase the strength and paint away. Disable vertex selection and then shift and click to soften the weights a bit. Rotate the jawbone to open the mouth and soften the weights on the mouth corners by shift clicking. In object mode, hide the head and select the teeth. Go to edit mode, select all vertices, go to data and remove from all vertex groups. Now select only the vertices of the bottom teeth, find the jaw vertex group and assign the selected vertices to it with a weight of 1. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection, now you have the upper teeth selected, find the head vertex group and assign the selected vertices to it. Now the jaw bone opens the mouth along with the teeth. Next go to the eyes objects, edit mode, select all vertices, and use Remove from all vertex groups. 
select only the geometry of the left eye, find the i.l vertex group and click assign. And then assign the verts of the right eye to the i.r group in the same way. Now the eye bones should control the eyes. Select the rig, shift select the face and go to weight paint mode. Activate the upper eyelid group and carefully paint on the upper eyelid geometry. Do not paint on the lower lid. You will probably want to smooth the weights as well. Now you should be able to close the upper eyelid. Paint and smooth the weights until you get good results. Select the eyelashes object. In edit mode, select all vertices and again remove from all vertex groups. Select only the left eyelash geometry. Find and highlight the eyelid u.l vertex group and click assign. Now select only the right eyelash geometry and assign it to eyelid u.r. Now the eyelashes should also move with the upper eyelid. Select the rig, shift select the face and go to weight paint again. Activate the individual brow bones and weight paint in the area near the bone. Once all brow bones are painted, the individual bones will deform part of the brow and the master bone can move the whole brow. And now something that may seem advanced but it's pretty easy. We'll make the eyelids react to the movement of the eyeball. Select your rig and go to pose mode. Select the left eye bone, shift select the upper eyelid, press Ctrl Shift C, copy rotation. Set local space to local space and influence to around 0.15. Add copy rotation with the same settings to the lower eyelid. And set the mix setting of both constraints to add. That allows you to rotate the bones manually even though they're constrained. Nice, eyelid displacement. I bet you didn't expect it to be this easy. Set up the constraints on the right side just like on the left side. I forgot to paint weights for the lower eyelid so let's go to weight paint as usual, activate the bone and paint lightly in the lower eyelid. Nice. If you're up for a challenge, we could add some mouth corner controls as well. Go to edit mode for your rig and add a bone at the left corner of the mouth. Name it mouthcorner.l and symmetrize it. Parent these bones to the head. Go to weight paint as usual, activate the mouth corner and paint around the bone. This will actually automatically create vertex group for these bones as soon as you paint. Now we can move the mouth corners and create simple smile or a frown. But if I open the mouth, it doesn't look nice anymore. These mouth corner bones should move with the jaw. If I just parent them to the jaw, they move too much. I want them to move about half the movement of the jaw. Can you create a new bone that rotates like the jaw, but only half the amount? It shouldn't be too difficult. Remember the influence slider that we have on constraints. Okay, in edit mode, duplicate the jaw bone and make it slightly smaller. Name it something like MCH jaw mouth. In pose mode, select the jawbone, then shift select the MCH jawbone, press Ctrl Shift C, copy rotation, and set influence to 0.5. And that's the whole setup. Now this bone will rotate half of the rotation of the jawbone. Parent the mouth corners to the MCH jawbone. This way the mouth corners will move with the jaw, but only half the amount. Now it is just a matter of going to weight paint mode and balancing the weights around the mouth corners between the jaw bone and the mouth bone. Add, remove and smooth the weights until both opening the jaw and moving the corners looks good.
Now I'm going to add shapes to my bones. I will mostly use spheres and circles to keep it simple. Feel free to add your own custom shapes if you like. Here I move the MCH jawbone to the MCH bone collection. Let's make something even cooler, an eye target. Make a copy of one of the eye bones, set the 3D cursor between the two eyes and snap the new bone to that position. Name this new bone MCH Eye Master. In pose mode, I'll remove its shape. Shift select the left eye bone, Control Shift C, copy rotation, with local space and local space, and I'll set copy rotation on the right eye in the same way. Now rotating the eye master will rotate both eyes at the same time. That's cool, but we can do even better. Make a copy of the eye master and move it away on the Y axis. Name it eye target. Shift select the eye master and give it a dumped track constraint. Now moving the target rotates the eye master, which orients both eyes. I'll give the eye target the rectangle shape and tweak its orientation and scale. This is quite a professional looking eye control, if you ask me. To keep control over the individual eyes, select each eye and tweak its copy rotation constraint, setting mix to add. Now I can use the target as the main control and the individual eye controls for finer adjustment. Move the MCH Eye Master to the MCH collection. Now have fun testing your face rig. As I was testing, I noticed a distortion in the face. The reason was because the weights of the neck bone are affecting the face vertices. So some face vertices lag behind. Just paint out the influence by activating the neck group and control clicking on the face. And done. You just completed the Nova section. Congratulations are in order. I hope you're excited to go even further and in fact get out of the rigging valley with the intermediate series.